Protecting the streets of Fort Stockton can be a rough job. Especially for officers like these good boys. While human officers have all sorts of protection, most canine officers rely on their more natural coat. So their canine partners right now aren't protected with the same type of body armor. So the dogs are not only with us at all times, uh, they're also in the vehicle and they're just in as much danger as we are. Nemo and Foz are canine officers with Fort Stockton PD. I've never had a, the dog fail me. And their jobs holding down the fort just got a little safer. Two of our canine handlers applied for a grant and uh, the grant was awarded where they're gonna be receiving ballistic and uh, stab-proof body armor for their canine partners. The grant was awarded by the nonprofit organization Vested Interest in Canines. The custom-made vests have been awarded to over 5,000 other canine officers in the United States. It sounds like a big number, but when you take into account the amount of agencies with dogs that don't have vests, I mean, that is, it's very few and far between. And the two newest ones are right here in West Texas. Two West Texas hounds who have put a lot of people in the doghouse. Oh, so let's just say they've definitely earned this treat. Their primary focus is drugs, so they've assisted in school searches, building searches, searching vehicles on the side of the highway. The vest not only will improve the dog's safety, it'll also give the handlers more confidence to go into any situation. Now that they know that for sure, their loyal companion will be safe. I'm not so much worried about, you know, anything happening to him now with these vests. It's, you know, going to decrease a lot. And these dogs aren't just co-workers to Soto and Calderon. Uh, being canine officers, you have to develop that bond. You have to know everything about your dog. You need to know when your dog's showing you that he needs the restroom, when he's sniffing something of interest, or when he's actually learning some narcotics. So that's, that's a, a bond that you have to have as a canine officer. And while their day job may be fighting crime, these dogs are still dogs. And they're called man's best friend for a reason. We have developed a, a bond with each other. Um, I can't go to work without him. He, you know, gets excited and he's ready to go to work with me. And if I leave him behind, he's trying to get out of his cage because he wants to go with it, you know, with his partner. He doesn't leave my side. And with this donation, these dogs won't be leaving their handler's side for a very long time. Because with this dog on armor, Nemo and Foz will continue to be the top dogs of Fort Stockton. So if you're over there, don't go barking up the wrong tree.